Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fat Hoopster channel. This is John. And today I'm going to be doing a review of a product that I basically made. Um, though it is not... It's not like 100% from scratch made. This is an idea that I had after... Um, I tasted all the Canadian and the United States versions of Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Flavor Boosts. In the United States versions, they had ranch, pizza, and jalapeno. No, buffalo. The Canadians had jalapeno, buffalo, ghost pepper, poutine, butter chicken, and a sweet one, cotton candy, which turned the noodles a bright pink color like cotton candy well today i'm going to take that flavor boost idea and create my own flavor boost variety and this flavor boost variety was actually based on another craft product well craft endorsed product maybe i did a review of this product a while ago van lee one is a ice cream maker Creamery, dairy, farmer, I'm not sure exactly what the definition of them would be, um, but they make ice cream, and they made a Kraft macaroni and cheese ice cream. Well, what if we just flipped it and reversed it, and we made ice cream flavored macaroni, and that's exactly what I did. This is my homemade version. See, it's just a, a Ziploc bag that I sharpied ice cream on and then put powder in there. And then poorly photoshopped and printed out this Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Flavor Boost ice cream. And there's a picture of the Van Lee one. Ice cream, macaroni and cheese flavor. But this is the flavor boost of that. And it is currently here in this bowl. And on top you will see some melted whipped cream and a cherry because I don't have any more whipped cream because that's exactly the amount of whipped cream that was in the can when I put it on here. Um, I will be having a video companion to this video which shows exactly how I made this, what is in here, what goes into it. So I'm not going to go into exactly what is in here right now because that would be a separate video where I put it together and explain. Um, however, I will tell you that this is just some canned whipped cream and it just so happened to be the very last bit of whipped cream in the can. So in the how-to video and I show everything and the last thing is going to be is me putting that on there. It doesn't look too pretty because you know it's like the last bit so it kind of like spurts out and sprays itself with air. And then I have one maraschino cherry. Um, I don't have the bright red ones. I just have like that the dark red ones that are meant for cocktails. So It is what it is. It wasn't there for really uh, Flavor purposes at all. It's just kind of show that this was ice cream Flavored so whipped cream and a cherry on top made sense. So you can see the color um, You won't be able to tell right here because it's basically the same color as regular but the mix was just white, so it did kind of like lighten it up a bit. And I have tasted it already. Uh, just one bite from mixing it up. And it is sweet, and it kind of tastes like ice cream. Here we go. Macaroni noises. This is the Fat Hipster Flavor Boost. Ice cream flavor boost. Here we go. There's definitely an extra creaminess to this. I really like vanilla boost. Let me get some. It has a little bit of this whipped cream on it. It's even more creamy. I have to do it sometimes, so let's go ahead and taste that cherry. Mm. 
weird. Wouldn't recommend that part of it. I just thought it'd be a funny thing to put on top. But let's just continue to eat this. I will say it does taste less cheesy. You can still get that cheese flavor in there, but the boost part of this kind of makes the cheese part a little bit more subtle. It boosts the cream flavor, and it introduces this vanilla. The um, and Like I said, I'm not going to go too specific to the ingredients, but there's basically two parts of this. They both have vanilla in it. And one of those actually has two different types of vanilla in it. So you get a really intense vanilla. But the cream and the vanilla really give you an overall ice cream vibe to this. Well, it's not cold, but there's plenty of ways to have ice cream. Well, not plenty of ways. There's a couple ways to have ice cream that aren't cold. That's a little hint as to what's in here. Craft USA, you've already collaborated with Van Leeuwen's to give them your cheese flavor for their ice cream. Let's get some of that back. Let's extend, expand our flavor boost line. Tell Van Leeuwen's that you want some of their ice cream flavorings, just like the basic vanilla ones. You don't want to introduce too much to this to change its overall flavor. You just want it to taste like ice cream. So whatever is in here, the specific flavor that tastes like milk and cream and sugar, maybe some vanilla, add that in powder form to one of your flavor boost packets. And I just gave you a free idea, Craft America. I won't even ask for any part of the influence of that. I mean, all I want is the money. Don't even have to put my name on it, my face on it. Just cut me a check. And I'll do that for free. Let you cut me a check for free. I won't charge you for that part. Hmm. I was worried this was going to be too sweet. It was the powder itself that I made. Of course, has sugar as a part of it, and itself was intensely. Um, like concentrated vanilla ice cream flavor. Very sweet. And this is sweet, but I would say just ever so slightly sweeter than the cotton candy version that Canada had. So this is a winner. I have succeeded one for one. Craft macaroni and cheese flavor boost, ice cream flavor boost. There you go. I've done the work for you. All I have to do is cut me a check, and it's all yours, Craft America. It's in your hands now. 10 out of 10. This will 
be a, a viral thing. Everyone will want to try it. And I'm not even lying at all. Um, polygraph me. But anyway, this is the the dumb thumbnail photo. If I remember to do it, which I probably will. Should I make a dumb face? I thought you might like that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I got one more of these coming. I had two boxes left over when I tried all the flavors. So I decided to make two of my own flavors. This was actually the more simple recipe of the two. The other one had a lot more ingredients involved, and that one will be coming soon. That one will also have a video of how I put it all together. <laughs> we'll see you next time, whenever that may be. Bye for now. See you later.